My name is Zach Sargent. I'm an outbound product manager for our ITOM optimization product. I'd like to take a quick minute today to show you how to import a template from Terraform Enterprise. Here you can see that we've set up under config management both an open source server and a Terraform Enterprise server. Terraform Enterprise, if I go into this, we've exchanged an API key to set this up. Uh, you can see the things that we're pulling in are the templates that we're pulling into the CMDB. And this AWS project master is what we're going to be uh, importing as a template. So if I go to design a new catalog item, now that I know that I've discovered the template I'm looking for, let's call this TFE demo. It's not under template type here. So you may notice that we have ARM and CloudFormation template types. Uh, this is uh, reflected in our ability to orchestrate against both of these clouds natively. Here we have a configuration management template and we have a few providers for that, but we're gonna use Terraform Enterprise for this particular demo. And then look up our server and save this record. So at the bottom here now I have the ability to import a new template. So if I go to cloud templates, this probably looks familiar if you're used to the ARM and CFT types. Look for the config installable. As I said before, we're gonna focus on this AWS master and then submit this. It's going to validate that template that we can pull variables in and use it for ServiceNow as a catalog item. That takes a second. And then you'll see validation is successful and the state is draft. If I go back into it, you'll notice that this is version one. If we update this template in Terraform Enterprise at this point, it does not automatically update in ServiceNow, but for change management reasons for uh, good practices reasons we don't just automatically assume that the new template is what you want to build the next uh, item with so you do have to come in here and activate the next version of the template uh, or in our case the first version of the template what it's doing during activation is it's going through and it's reading the variables that we've set forth in the template to create the catalog item so those variables are going to be displayed in the user interface and we'll be able to see them as part of the user experience. There are ways that you can shortcut the user experience as well. So if you have a VM, for example, as a, as a template and you want it to be able to go into one of three different subnets, you can put a metadata tag in the uh, body of the template that alerts ServiceNow as we're doing this activation to link it to that group of subnets to say, oh, you want to pull subnet information? Here's a drop-down list of those subnets. So there are things that you can do to uh, make this process even easier between the infrastructure as code piece and the user experience piece. Okay, I'm going to activate this catalog item and update it here. And then we're going to go take a look at the user experience. So here's my catalog. I'm going to refresh this because I don't have the new catalog item. So let's load that up. Aha, here we go. TFE demo. Now all of our existing policies, our naming convention, like stack name, any of our leasing conventions, all of this is all brought forward in this template. We didn't, we didn't have to add anything to the template. There's no magic behind the scenes. Those policies all match on the policies that they're supposed to. These are the variables that we've pulled out of the template itself. You can see that they're all pre-filled. So one of these opportunities for a dropdown might be this instance type. Let's say that we only want micro and small as choices for this type of an instance. So that would go here. I can click submit. At this point, you can see that the item is in progress. We've gone back to Terraform Enterprise. We've said, please deploy this template. Uh, here are the variable uh, fill-ins that the user has, has given us. 
and now this process is underway. Now we can do this as well with uh, an API. If you want a webhook, we can fill in that catalog item and have a seamless experience. Okay, it looks like we've gotten a complete back from the Terraform Enterprise server. And now we're going out to double check with AWS what's out there. And you can see here we have a VPC, an instance, and a subnet that have been created. And that completes our demo. Thanks for watching.